Right, let's look at the common mole concept question type known as a back titration. First, a quick analogy for this question type. Let's say I receive a big birthday cake that weighs 2 kilos. It's too much for me to finish in one shot, so I put it in the fridge. The next morning, I open the fridge to find that somebody else ate a portion of the cake. Now, I want to find out how much of the cake has been eaten, so what do I do? First, I weigh the leftovers. Then, knowing that the whole cake was initially 2 kilos, I do some simple math. Subtracting the leftovers from the whole cake gives me the amount eaten. Now, let's look at a relevant question to apply this analogy. You may wish to now pause this video to read the question. This is the unknown we want to solve for in the question. These are the keywords and phrases that suggest that we are actually facing a back titration. So this, the large excess reagent we shall call the cake. This, the titration itself, is therefore the leftovers, and this will be the eaten portion, which will lead us to solve the unknown. So, recalling from before that whole cake minus leftovers equals eaten, hence large excess minus remainder equals amount consumed by the NaOH, which will lead us to the unknown. So now we shall present the solution in terms of the components of the cake. This, the amount of H2SO4 used in the KOH titration, is our leftovers. This is the total original amount of large excess H2SO4, our whole cake. So this, the amount of H2SO4 consumed by the NaOH is therefore our eaten portion. Now that we have found the eaten portion of H2SO4, we can proceed to solve the unknown, which in this case is the gold in the impure ore. One trick commonly seen in these questions is the use of adequates, small portions of an original solution of larger volume. Simply calculate the amount in terms of number of moles of reagent in the adequate, and then apply a simple ratio to therefore find the amount of reagent in the original solution. This ratio is usually some simple multiple like times 5 or times 10. So, to conclude, the whole cake refers to the large excess reagent. Beware that which reagent this is isn't always obvious. Pay close attention to the numbers, the concentrations and volumes. For the whole cake, these values will be larger relative to the others. Leftovers refers to what's left of the large excess reagent that is being used in the titration. Keep in mind that the titration is used to find this and not the unknown. Finally, the eaten portion therefore refers to the amount of the large excess reagent consumed by the unknown, which is eventually what we need to solve for in the question. At this point, if you are clear on how this works, you should know to avoid three common mistakes. Firstly, do not start calculating with the very first value given in the question, which is usually the unknown itself. Secondly, do not use values from the titration itself to straight away calculate the unknown. Remember, the titration is for the leftovers and not the unknown. And lastly, do not forget to account for any eloquating that is being done in the question.